Good evening, I'm Tina Tai Shaw. Ben has the night off. The second week of the Alec Murdoch trial underway in Walterboro, and we are hearing details about shell casings found on the property. And News 3 found out Paul, Maggie, and Alec made or received several cell phone calls just minutes before and after the murders. The day ended with Murdoch in his own words. WSAV's Andrew Davis has continuing coverage. Today that started with the defense countering many of the prosecution arguments from Friday about forensic evidence that linked Alec to the scene. Is that preservation of the scene that your, that your standards require? Not, not exactly, no. Not exactly? Should the police be walking through the scene? No. Do we know what other evidence they may have destroyed? I have no idea. That's right, we don't. The defense team also brought up the possibility of a second shooter. All his prosecutors showed body camera video of sled agents picking up 300 blackout shells from an area of the property near the gun room. It's a room that investigators also pulled four different guns. Guns that were shown off in court even though they were deemed not to be connected to the murders. But the day all turned on a dime this afternoon when video played of Alec in his second interview with law enforcement just three days after the murder, talking about his son Paul, Maggie, and where he was the night of the killings. I was certain that I heard them pull up. I mean, I was positive that I heard, and, and people don't just come out there. You know, we don't get, like, passed through. I was certain that I heard them pull up, but, I, but they didn't. The, the last time that... Paul and you saw Paul and Maggie's when y'all were eating supper. Yes, sir. It was just so bad. They did it so bad. He's such a good boy, too. Attorney Joe McCullough says the timeline laid out by Alex contradicts the prosecution's opening argument. They say they have video that places him at the scene much closer to the murders. But it is something that can be fixed, he says, in cross-examination. I think the defense has to embrace it and say this is a man who just had uh, two-thirds of his family slaughtered. He discovered them. There cannot be anything worse than that, and he just can't be expected to recall everything that happened that night necessarily in chronological order. The last statement, while many hear they did him so bad, prosecutors made a point of saying I did him so bad is what Alex said at that point, referencing Paul. Now the defense will have to counter that potentially when it comes tomorrow morning. Court starts at 9.30. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. WSAV is on your side with complete coverage of the Murdoch case online. Visit WSAV.com slash Murdoch.